Previously on The Walking Dead. No! You monsters! <laughs> You're a piece of work, you know that? Garcias! Oh, you, you... You shook my goddamn guts out! Joan was in on it! We did it on her orders! I'm... I'm sorry! It is too late for sorry, you backstabbing shitbag! I'll help you! I'll, I'll tell everyone in Richmond about this! We don't need your help. I'm begging you! I'd hold it there, folks. And I'd consider explaining yourselves. I asked you to get Kate and Gabe safe. Not tuck your tail and run. They were our family, David. How could you? Piece of shit! I'll give you family! Strike one. I'm out of practice, that's all. Yeah, same here. I haven't held a bat since the league booted me. Well, you got all afternoon to get back in your groove. <sighs> oh yeah. Just holding this thing makes me feel better. You doing okay? Uh, I've been wrestling with something. Hey! Hey man, you're Javier Garcia, right? The ball player? Can I get your autograph? <laughs> if you could sign my baseball, that would be so awesome. Sure thing, kid. Oh, man! Thank you! Who do I make this out to? Oh, no, no. N no names. Band player signatures are worth way more on resale than personalized crap. <laughs> Just your name is fine. D don't date it or anything. Hope you like it. Oh, yeah! I might get ten bucks for this! You gotta keep those fans happy, big star. Let's get back to baseball. Well, it's out of here! Holy cow! You just had to rub it in, didn't you? Does talking like that make you feel better? Yeah. You should try it. Son of a bitch. Strike two. Man, knock that shit off. I'm serious. You just talk, talk, talk. It's annoying. Jeez, you gotta learn to relax, David. What do you suggest? Put some money on it? You know I don't do that anymore. I still can't believe you actually wanted to come here. If I were in your situation, and avoid batting cages forever. Well... Thanks for bringing me anyway. I needed the distraction. Oh, Garcia's on fire! I think your ego's boosted plenty. Next time, we go to the shooting range. I don't really shoot. But I do. And I'm good at it. Ow! Fuck! You gotta shut up! Stupid thing. 
My arm's throbbing. Don't blame that on me. Gotta pay attention. Oh, the batting cage is serious business. You're about the last person who should be telling people about serious business, Hobby. I remember I showed you how to play this game. Well, let this superstar return the favor. Watch this. Oh my god, the crowd is going wild! I got it. You don't have to rub it in my face. I'm done. David. David, knock off the tantrum. Grow up. You just can't resist making your little digs, can you? Once again, it's Javi the star thinking he's better than me. That's going to change. What's going on? David, I, I don't understand. You don't understand because you only think about yourself. And I'm sick of it. It's been that way for years. You've always been looking out for yourself. You tried to help me, yet yeah, let me help you. You really want to help? All right. Drive me down to the recruitment office next week. The army? My job sucks. Kate and I fight like cats and dogs. I belong back in the army. I had a purpose there. I had respect. Last time you deployed, you didn't have kids. So... Whatever you do now, you gotta put them first. I am putting them first. That's why I have to leave. Things between me and Kate have been going downhill for a while. But if I left, it seemed like that would be best for everyone. I can't keep pretending this is the life I want. Not anymore. I'm not gonna stand in your way. Well, all right then. I'm not gonna lie. If I go, it's gonna be hard on everyone. Kate may need help from time to time. You can help, right? You won't leave her hanging? I need to know that. In my mind. I'll be there for them, since you won't. If you want to go, you should go. <sighs> Thank you. I really mean it. We good? Yeah, we good. Come on, let's get out of here. Buy your beer. Get in there. I let you go. On the road, remember? Can't you help us now? Of course I remember. That's why I haven't shot you already. That's how I'm helping you. Jones making a huge mistake. No, you made a mistake when you murdered Lonnie. Hey, everybody just take a breath, all right? I was just trying to tell them- And that's your mistake right there. You can't fight everybody. Understand that Joan's not looking for revenge. She just wants order. Cooperation is the name of the game. There's still a way through this, but you've got to let Joan enforce the laws. I'll... I'll see what I can do. What, you're gonna choose that witch over me now? Better start leaning on your brother, Javi. He needs to get with the program. You boys want to make it out of here. Just relax and trust in the process. After I brought you in, after I saved your asses, this is how you treat me? Betrayal? Lies! David, I'm not your enemy. We have to figure out what to do about Joan. Joan's betrayal wasn't as bad as yours, little brother. Do you have any understanding of what they're doing to me? I'm being set up. And I don't even want to think about what they'll do when they find Kate. I could have found a way to protect all of you. But now? Now you're all on your own. <sighs> you gotta still have some friends here, right? I thought Lonnie was a friend. He turned on me. And you shot him. Any friends you haven't killed, haven't killed you yet. It's everyone out for themselves these days. Hey, we can still win this. You and me together should be able to take down some punk-ass soldiers. <laughs> you are so goddamn naive, Javi. We're outnumbered here. 
I could be far away from here. There are other communities out there. You can't give up. Gabe didn't give up on you. And Kate? I said, what about Kate? You gave up on Kate years ago. You left us waiting while the world fell apart. She didn't forget it. Shut up! <laughs> you're dead to me. If we get out of here, you're on your own. I'm through with you. <laughs> <laughs> Typical brothers, fighting like boys. You bitch. I fucking trusted you! Careful! Don't give him a concussion. I came here to talk, not fight. You're not gonna be a problem, are you? I just want a calm discussion. Between us. I won't be a problem if you let us go. In fact, I may even be friendly. I'm sorry. I can't do that. But I like what you're trying to do. And people had concerns about me coming here after the way you murdered Lonnie, David. But I know what the real danger here is. And you need to hear about it. If you know there's trouble out there, just tell us. I'm getting to it. Those raids were unfortunate, but necessary. The real danger was another long winter I should have been told about this. David, you remember how many friends we lost last year. I couldn't bear to see it happen again. Tomorrow morning, I'm going to call for a gathering in the square. The people deserve to hear a full explanation of your arrest. And then? Then you'll be replaced as head of security. No one's above the law, David. Not even you. I know the laws, Joan. You're the one breaking them. This place could have been something, something good, and you ruined it. This place needs me to keep it safe. You set me up. Everyone's going to see through your lies. I did what I had to do to keep the people of Richmond safe. They're going to see that. And they'll also see that the biggest threat to them right now is you. Bullshit! I understand you're angry with me, but let's talk about it in private. Bring him with us. gonna get up there from this bench. squeeze through there. I wasn't sure how I was going to find you. Then I heard the glass breaking. You're alive. For now, you escaped the guards. Barely. We gotta get you out of here. 
Take this. Help me pry these bars off. Uh, shit. Give it a push from your side. Thanks, Kate. Now, give me a hand. What's all that noise? It's a herd. They've got this place surrounded. Come on. This way. Where are you taking me? Eleanor found a place. Gabe's there with the others. We've been hiding out there. For as long as we can, anyway. How safe is it? Safe enough, for now. But we should hit the road as soon as we can. We should probably keep moving. Where are the patrols? Oh, they're around. I had some close calls on my way to find you. Almost got caught. But I got lucky. Thanks for risking it. I took some guts. I owe you my life. It's only fair. Don't worry. I think we're even. All clear. Come on. I saw them take David from the quarantine building. Yeah. How's he doing? I can't be his wife anymore. He doesn't deserve to be locked away. He was angry, but I think he understands. I hope you're right. I still feel terrible about what's happening to him. Hold up. I think it's clear. Let's move. Okay, lead the way. before they find the room empty and sound the alarm. I think they want me more than you. If they spot us, don't be afraid to leave me behind. That's not going to happen. That's Eleanor's place. There's a lot of activity all of a sudden. Come on, let's get inside.
hard about this, and I really think we should be a thing. I'm sorry. I don't know if I feel like that. That way. Hey, buddy. It's good to see you, Avi. Really? Your goofy face and everything. It's great to see you, Gabe. I didn't expect to see you again so soon. Yeah, well, things have changed. I just can't do this now. Oh, hey. Uh, hey. Trip, look who's here. Hey, guys. Uh, hey, <clears throat> where have you been? You guys need some time or... No, it's cool. It's fine. What is going on here in Richmond? You know more about this place than the rest of us. What do we do? Joan lied. She's trying to remove David from power. Told you we couldn't trust him. I want to go save my dad. Right now. He needs our help. We need a plan first. Javi. Make sure it's the way to go. Good. The last time you scrapped the plan and got yourself caught. Fair enough. So we gotta make sure we don't screw this up. Have you guys even looked out the window? Go look for yourself. Even if you did get your brother free, you're not going to be able to go anywhere. Wow. As much as I don't want to be here... You sure are glad we didn't stumble into that on our own? <sighs> Fuck. Yeah. Can you imagine? I'm not sure it's much safer in here. Yeah. I think the entire world's fucked right now. It seems like we're in danger within this place and without. I, for one, would feel a whole lot safer with a few more guns to protect ourselves. That the smartest move to make right now? That's crazy. If we're really going to make it out of here, we have to be ready to shoot our way out, right? Yeah, right. Good. I know where there's guns. My dad showed me. There are lots. I can take us. Okay. Sounds like a plan. We'll get back here as soon as we can. Good luck. Come here. Kate, I... Just be careful. Look, Javi, I, I don't know if you heard us, but... I think I fucked it up with Eleanor. We can talk on the way. I, about that, I, I don't think I can leave this apartment with things like this between me and her. It's just not right. I know you must have at least heard something. It happens, especially these days. Don't worry about it. Thanks. Just shouldn't have pushed it with her like I did. Wasn't fair. Too much going on already, right? Javi, come on! Just give us a minute, pal. I'm sorry, buddy. I just I don't know what to do. With all that's going on here, everybody's feeling overwhelmed. Try to wait for the right time. Maybe she'll come around. <sighs> uh huh. Right. Okay. Good luck out there. I'll talk it over with Eleanor and watch over things here. You've got my word. I won't let anything happen to anyone. Thank you. Javi, come on! Good luck. Stay alert. Be careful. You'll be fine. Okay. This'll be great. We got this. Slow down, buddy. I've done this before, Avi. No. You have.
haven't, Gabe. Not really. Some decisions, you make them in a split second, and then have to carry them the rest of your life. You understand? What do you mean, Avi? Just be careful. People aren't muertos. They can shoot at you. I know. Then you know to be quiet and stay hidden. So, we stay hidden and quiet? If we could just slip past quietly, it'll make our job a lot easier. Okay. We don't want to make any noise and attract any attention. Hey, I can go talk to him while you sneak inside. I'll distract him. You won't do anything to me. I'll tell him I saw something suspicious. It's a good idea, Gabe. I, I can do this. I saw something. Show me. I told you it would work. Good work, buddy. It's down here. The guns are through that door. either. Have to do this the hard way. these in your bag. We've never done this before. Just you and me. We make a pretty good team, right? The uncle-nephew one-two punch. Yeah, we do. Drop it! What the hell are you doing here? What are you doing with all that? We're trapped here in town. There's a herd at the gates. No matter what's going on out there, I need to be able to protect my family. Javier, that herd is the least of your fucking problems right now. It was a shit thing to do, fucking off on me like that. I know. I- Why didn't you meet me at the stronghold? We had a plan. 
My brother is in over his head and the water is rising. He needs our help. You're damn straight he does. But why should I trust you now? As far as I can tell, you're nothing but trouble. David would want you to. He needs fighters. We're his only hope. You're right. He doesn't have anyone else left in his corner. Your heart's in the right place, I'll give you that. Okay. You know I'm in. And it looks like you could use all the help you can get. Awesome. I gotta grab something else real quick. Meet me by the front at five. Okay. You're bleeding. Are you okay? Oh my god. I'll be fine. Are you sure? I'm so sorry. Yes, I'll be fine. Don't worry about it. You have to get back to the others. Jeez, I can't leave you guys alone for two minutes, can I? He's still alive? Yeah. Just passed out. Starting to think siding with you might have not been the best idea. Toss Sleeping Beauty in the closet so nobody sees him. Let me see that wound. It's really bleeding. You're gonna need that taken care of. Shit. No, it's okay. Lingard and David are close friends. We can count on him to help you. Medical facility is right nearby. It'll be quiet this time of night, too. Okay, but let's be quick. Can they really hit targets over a mile away? Not these, but some models. Javi, it's probably best if Lingard doesn't see these guns. He and David might be tight, but he's still part of Richmond's leadership council. I'll keep watch with Ava. Okay. Do any of them have laser sights? Clem? <gasps> Shit, Javi, what happened to you? Ran into a little trouble. Wow, that looks like it must have hurt. I just need to get it cleaned up. You surprised me. I thought you were someone else. Thought you'd be long gone by now. <sighs> so did I. But I still need to talk about AJ with Lingard. And look at him. Anyway, I can't leave Richmond with that herd out there. Something tells me Lingard doesn't care what you're doing. He's been out of it since I got here. He's alive. Poor dumb bastard. That's gonna need more than just cleaning, Javi. I can stitch that for you. I can't promise it'll look great once it heals. It's better than nothing, though. You've done this before? Yeah, I have. On myself, actually. In much worse conditions. You'll be fine. Huh. Let me see if I can find a needle and thread for that. <clears throat> Clem. Are you okay? I'm... Fine. I started bleeding. I know, it's a thing. I've traveled with women before, and, and they all had it. What is it? 
I mean, like, why is it... I just don't understand. It means you're growing up, blossoming into your, you know, like, womanhood. Your body is, is developing, and then things change, but it'll be okay. Okay. I can take you back to Kate. She can help you with, uh... Javi, worry about yourself right now. We need to find a needle and thread to stitch you up first. Oh, uh, right. <sighs> Wake up! Talk to me! Wow, that guy is really out of it. Jackpot. Needle and thread. All sterilized and ready to go. Here we go. Hey, this is just what you're looking for. They help you handle it. Kate will take care of you. I think I remember how to do this. <sighs> okay, hold still. Try not to breathe. Look, I know I'm probably not the best person to talk to about that stuff before. You weren't that bad. Thanks for, you know, being here. Basically, all this means is you could become a mom, if you want it. Funny. I already felt like a mom. Even Ava would have to admit. I was a good mom to AJ. Whoa there, Clem. It's just me. What the hell do you want? I know how pissed you are, Clementine. Spitting on David really got that message across. Believe it or not, I'm actually sorry about what happened. It wasn't easy for any of us. You have to believe that. Fuck off! <laughs> I deserve that. I'm not here to upset you more. Too late. Look, it's not much, but... Here. David wanted you to have that. AJ drew it just after you... Now you're just screwing with me. No, Clem, we just... Am I supposed to just thank you for this? We just thought you'd want something to remember him by. Listen, it's dangerous out here, and right now, you're hurting. 
Whatever you do, you can't let what happened get to you. You need to keep a level head. Plan for after that. You're strong, but that won't get you far if you don't know what you're doing. Or where you're headed. I can make it on my own, just like I always have. I don't need anybody else. I don't blame you. Just don't overestimate what you're actually capable of. For me, staying alive has always been about finding people I could trust as much as they trusted me. That's what the new frontier has been. A silver lining. Made me feel worth a damn. Kept me going in the worst of times. You'll find yours. I know you will. Someone, or something. He may have needed one, but I don't. Everybody needs one sooner or later. They're the only good things we have these days. From the first time we met, right here, surrounded by absolute hell, you and AJ were a light in the darkness. Hope for a better world. That's who you are. Promise me you'll never lose that light. Please. It's what makes you special, Clem. Just go away already. Okay. Okay. <sighs> I should get back before anyone notices I'm gone. I know you said you'd get by on your own, but if you find yourself needing supplies, or just someone to talk to, there's an old airfield about ten or so miles south of here. Prescott. There are good people there. I'm sure they'll help you out. I'll miss having you around, Clem. Are you leaving or what? I hope the best for you out there, kid. I really do. That's what keeps me going. There's things I have to stay alive to do. <sighs> so, what do you think? I think I'm getting better. That was fast. There's not much to it. The wound was pretty clean. You coming? I still have to ask Lingard about AJ. <sighs> Hello, Clementine. Javier. Thought you were rotten in a cell with David. There any chance he got out too? I hate to think about what Joan might do to him. Despite all her pleasantries, she's a cruel bitch. Joan took him before I got out. I haven't seen him since. That poor bastard. He's... He's not getting out. Guess there's only one... Sure way to get away from Joan these days. Why do you care if David got out? He deserves what's coming to him. If you think that, you don't know David. I know he's the reason I lost AJ. When AJ recovered, David was the one who stepped up. Took personal responsibility for that kid. You say that like it's a good thing. I really doubt he was a positive influence. David's the reason the kid's better off now than, than he's ever been. You can be as mad as you want about how, about how things panned out. Clem is AJ's family. No kid is better off when you break their family apart. Maybe you're right. Maybe AJ should be with Clem. All I know is that he's better than he was when he got here. No thanks to you or David. I stand by what I said. If David's taken such good care of him, why did he tell me to ask you where AJ is? That's what this is about, then. You... You want to know where the boy is? What do you want? I... I just want to die. 
I want you to inject this into me. Are you crazy? That's just the way it is. When your brother found me, he... He got me to care about everything I'd given up on. My life. Other people. Even this goddamn place. Without him around. I don't want to care anymore. Just tell me where he is! Then you won't have any reason to do it. to know. I've been looking for too long. I can't lose him now. Not when I'm this close. All right. I'll do it. Well, where is he? He's... He's at the McCarroll Ranch. A few miles west of here. He's really alive. Don't forget to stick around to handle the after part. I don't want to become one of those monsters. Don't forget, Joan's looking for you. And your friends. You better hope she doesn't find you. I've got it. <laughs> Finally. Oh, hey. Uh, hi, Clementine. Surprised to see you here. Yeah, right back at you. You all good? Yeah, we're all set. Let's roll. Mm, good to see you. Javi, you're back. And Clementine. Thanks for the warm welcome. Just surprised to see you is all. Guys, this is Ava. Oh She's... yeah, I know who she is. She's got a hell of a punch. Nice to meet you. Good to see you, Ava. Oh, hell. You okay? Yeah. It looks worse than it is. Don't worry about it. Kate's lying down in the other room for a bit. So you got the guns, huh? We got them, all right. One for you, and one for you. I saved this one for you. No, I've already got one. Actually, it wouldn't hurt to have another. Thanks. What took you so long? We went to see Dr. Lingard. At night? I'm kind of surprised he was sober. It's gotta be a stressful job. Looking after an entire community? Can't say I approve of the way he blows off steam, though. Actually, Lingard's dead. Oh my god. He asked me to help him end it, so I helped him. I... I had no idea things had gotten that bad for him. He was done. With all this. Why don't you go talk to Kate, okay? Okay. The sun will be rising in a few hours. Jones people know we're holed up here, and they're gonna come looking for us. All of us. Ah, for fuck's sake. Maybe it's not as bad as we think, fucking figures. And there's no going anywhere with those things blocking our exit. 
they like me, that has to help somehow. Just because they like you doesn't mean they're going to like the rest of us. We're sitting ducks up here. We can't just wait around here to get shot, that's for damn sure. I know, I know. We're fucked, okay? Oh, thanks for that, Javi. Like we don't know that already? We can't just cut and run, not with the herd out there. Like it or not, we're fucking stuck in Richmond. Now how the fuck are we going to put the brakes on this thing? Joan and her people are going to be at the square, right? We need to bring the fight to them. We go after Joan, our problems are solved. Great. So, how do we do that? It's a good question. Joan will probably have a full security detail with her. She'll be insulated. From us and from anybody in Richmond who doesn't agree with what she's doing. We move in fast. Guns blazing and we take her out. Couple of bullets. Problem solved. After we take Joan out, we're gonna need some way out of this mess. I don't know about the rest of you, but I'm not much of a runner. We've got a truck. A big one. That we used to use for walker defense. It's a little busted up, but it's way better than nothing. People are gonna be patrolling these streets looking for us. How far away is this truck? I'll show you. We've been expanding, pushing out further, making the safe zone even bigger. Can't promise you they've cleared all the walkers yet, but that's where the truck's parked. <laughs> I could spit and hit it. We steal that thing, nothing will be able to stop us. Steal what? Hey. Jesus, Javi, is that blood on your shirt? You said it wasn't that bad. It isn't. How the hell did this happen? Oh, you're bleeding right through that bandage. You should have told me as soon as you got in. Things went a little sideways at the end. Gabe got in the way. A guard came after me and he stabbed me in the shoulder. I thought you guys were going to be careful out there. Hey, don't worry about it. It is what it is. Thought you knew what you were doing. You're still alive, aren't you? Eleanor, can you take a look at this? As long as he keeps it clean, it should be okay. Would you guys stop making such a big deal about it? It happened. It's over. Move on already. I'm just trying to make sure he's okay, Gabe. What we need to be talking about is the plan. Oh, I have a bunch of ideas. I want to be the one to go after Dad. Just give me a gun and I'll do whatever. I know the town. I know what Dad's going to be thinking. Hey, 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 slow down, would you? You're getting way ahead of yourself. Who's to say you're even coming along, kid? Are you fucking kidding me? Ugh, this is bullshit! I'm not staying behind. Gabe, take a breath. He's my dad. I'm going. It's going to be dangerous out there, and I don't want anyone else getting hurt. If we get to save dad, then getting hurt is worth it. It's worth dying for. This is more important to me than anyone else. I've got a gun, and I know how to use it. You're out of control, Gabe. First the shit at the armory, now this? How am I supposed to trust you to do anything? How are any of us? Nobody here is going to let you be a martyr, Gabe. Your life is precious. Life is precious? Then how come you shot Conrad, huh? Back in the tunnel, when he came after us, he tried to bargain with you. I saved your life too, in case you didn't remember that part. So what? You shot him. You killed him. What the fuck, Javi? Is she telling the truth? You murdered my friend? What the fuck did you do that for? You looked me in the eyes, man. He had a gun on them. If I hadn't killed him, he was going to shoot Clementine and Gabe. He's telling the truth. When Conrad found out that I used to run with New Frontier, he went crazy. He would have pulled the trigger, no question. I guess we'll never know, right? Because he's not here to tell his side of things. You made sure of that. Looks like you're a pretty fucking dangerous person to be around, Avi. First you kill my friend, then you get me and my friends on Joan's shit list? I think you need to give us some space, Javi. Fuck that. I don't want to see you ever again. Or maybe I'd be better off with Joan. At least I know she wants to stab me in the back. You get the fuck out and you stay gone, or I can't be held accountable. You feel me? We can take care of ourselves. I'm sorry it happened the way it did. Really. Conrad wasn't a bad guy. The situation was just... just fucked. 
We better go get that truck. I'll, uh, get my stuff. Then call you on the walkie when I see things getting started in the square. with me to get the truck. Gabe and Kate, you guys hang back here. Be ready for anything. I see what's going on. You're punishing me because I told everyone what you did, right? Screw that. I'm going to get the truck. You stay behind and keep watch. You proved your fucking point already, Gabe. Now it's time to grow up and help us. Hey, Gabe. Come on. I need you to watch my back on this one. Yeah. Okay. I guess somebody needs to be a lookout. What? Nothing. Gabe and I will be fine back here. Chances. I'd say about 50-50. Smart ass. We've got company. Hell yeah. This graveyard shift is killing me. Oh, let me get to that. Early risers. Come on, we gotta hurry and finish before more people wake up. What are we gonna do? Can't start the engine, not without attracting a lot of attention. Kate, you steer. The rest of us are going to get behind the truck and push. See if we can't get some distance between us and them. Ready? Ready. Ready. You needed me after all, huh? I'm just saying, I know you didn't want me to come along. If I'd stayed behind, maybe we wouldn't have been able to get the truck. I'm glad you were here, okay? At least you can admit it. Yeah. Well, it turns out you're pretty useful when you actually follow directions. Don't think those guys will be able to hear the engine all the way over here. I put it in neutral. Couldn't find an ignition key in there. Guess you'll have to hotwire it. Try not to shock yourself. Shit. I'll need something to strip the wires. They left all their supplies lying around. Bet there'll be some tools out there somewhere. Just try to hurry, okay?
keep an eye out while I get it started, okay? I'll check on the guys in the office. Clem and I will look out for walkers. Okay. Here goes. Wire cutters should help with this. battery to the ignition. Let there be light. The square is a couple of blocks away. This is a good place to wait. Do we have enough gas? No, I'm not about to turn the engine off again. What now? We wait for Ava to call us on the walkie. So, nothing for us to do but sit and watch the sun come up. Well, I know we've got something important to do. I'm teaching you to play Euchre. <sighs> That's not a real thing. It's a card game. Come on, it's fun. It's nice to be driving around with a couple kids in the back seat again. Really Where takes you back, you doesn't it? Just you and me and Gabe and Mari. Kind of You're right. This is nice. Like if I just close my eyes, we're right back where we were. All of us together. Do what I do. Try to think about the nice stuff. Not everything that happened after. <laughs> Gotcha. Oh, come on. That's not even a good rule. Still gotcha. Guess he stopped playing it cool with her. Hmm? Uh, in case you haven't noticed, Gabe's got a little crush on Clementine. He like likes her. You get it? Well, okay, I sort of am. I hope it works out for them. I really do. They're good for each other. I think. Think their first official date will be target practice? Then, skinning and eating a wild animal. Ugh, young love. It's so normal, you know? Like, as crazy as things get, as terrible and tragic and just plain stupid, there's nothing more wonderfully ordinary as two kids falling for each other. Not that they're there yet. But to feel something that intensely for another person, kind of like the best drug there is. Hey, the falling in love is the easy part. It's the staying in love part that'll really mess you up. It's unfair, that's all I'm saying. That they're feeling what they're feeling right now, and when that sun gets a little higher, it's right back to the fight. I just wish he could have had a childhood, you know? I wish I could have given them that. Him and Mari, both. They deserved better than this. Now, you did the best you could, Kate. You kept this family alive as long as you possibly could. It counts for a lot. I hope you know, Javi, having you there with me, right by my side, all this time, that's what made the difference. You're so sure of what you're doing all this for. You didn't run away. You could have, but you didn't. I think that's just 
you know, who I am, you know? Uh, who I am now, at least. I get it. There's no graceful way to say this, so I'm just gonna say it. I know we've had moments, you and I. And they're always a little hot and a little confusing and maybe some of them haven't meant anything at all. But before whatever happens tomorrow happens, I need you to know whatever this thing is between us, I want to give it a chance. And I know the fact that David is back in our lives now makes this whole thing a little more complicated. But do you feel the same way? I'd really like to know before things get crazy. We might not get another chance. <laughs> no pressure or anything, all right? Well, maybe I should have stayed quiet. I'm sorry, Kate. I Oh. God. I just can't see it between us. So all those times you said stuff, I was just imagining it? Years together, on the road. The looks, the hints of something more. You're saying none of that meant what I thought it did. David's not just some guy in our lives. He's my brother. I don't see him being okay with this, ever. I can't do that to him. So, you're saying you do feel something. It doesn't matter, Kate. It can't go anywhere. I guess a part of me always knew you didn't feel the same way. God knows I pushed you a couple times, but you always said no. I guess I have to finally listen. Javi, it's an execution over here. She's planning to hang David in front of the whole crowd. You've got to get over here now. Don't bring the truck. If they see it, they'll kill him right away. If you can just get into the square... Shit. We gotta get over there. Now. Keep the walkie close by. We'll tell you as soon as we've got David. Then you can drive into the square and pick us up. I can't convince you to come along. You can't. Just... stay out of sight. We'll be in touch as soon as we can. Nothing else from Ava? Nope. And it sounds like a crowd out there. It sounded like Ava got cut off by something. Or somebody. Wish we had some idea of what we're heading into. Like, is the whole plan shot, or did she just have a little setback? I hate not knowing. I'm getting a little worried about Ava. Something must have gone wrong. Something must have happened. We're not gonna know what went wrong until we actually do this thing. So, let's do it already. You ready? We just have to remember. We're people, not muertos. We're smarter than they are, and we need to act like it. Exactly. We've got to take the time to think things through. the others, can we? For years now, Richmond has been governed by one simple principle. Strong council, strong community. But, unfortunately, the actions of one of the members of that council, our security expert, David Garcia, have put us all She's in... She's lying to all of you! 
I'm sorry to have to show you this. Truly, I am. But you all need to see. Just look what he's done. He murdered these men in cold blood. I saw him murder Lonnie with my own eyes. Some of the best men I ever knew cut down in their prime. Is this who we want in charge? Someone this reckless, this cruel? Not if I have anything to do with it. I can't believe this is really happening. She's gonna kill him. She can't do this to him. He's kept him safe. Try to keep your cool. Joan's smart, but we're smarter. We just have to be careful. We can't screw this up, Javi. Javier! I'd heard you were planning to crash our little party. Why did you come on up here? Show your face to everyone. I'm sure these people would like to hear what you have to say. Fuck that, and fuck you, Joan. I don't have anything to say to someone who shit talks my family. Don't make this harder on yourself, Javier. Get up here, now. She knows we're here now, we might as well. We both know you killed Dr. Lingard. Why, Javi? Why would you do that to us? The only surgeon in a hundred mile radius, but you didn't care about that. Lingard saw what was happening in Richmond, what you were trying to do, and he didn't want any part of it. He asked me to spare him the sight of all this. You ask me, he's better off. Sorry if I don't take your word for it. Too bad you killed the only man who could back up your story. I had a very interesting conversation with your friend, Eleanor, last night. She was the one who alerted us to David's plot against Lingard. Isn't that right, Eleanor? We did. She said you were coming here today to take me out. Add to your total. Don't know how you thought you were going to pull it off, considering it's all of us against the three of you. If you knew what we were coming here to do, why go ahead with this? Why put a noose around my brother's neck? This community deserves justice, and they're going to get it, one way or the other. Here in Richmond, people who put themselves before the group don't last long. Bring them out. Get away from me! You're making a mistake! Ava! Oh no, they had them this whole time. David wanted to tear this whole place down. He told his people where to find our gun supply, and sure enough, they picked us clean. You really thought you could ride into town and stage a coup? With our own damn weapons? Something like that? I can't just let it go. You've put me in a no-win situation here. So I'm gonna do the same thing to you. Both of them deserve to die for their crimes. However, Javi, I'll let you spare one of them. Just one. No! Hell no! Joan! Don't! Not after what they tried to do. You may be guilty of bringing them into this, but they chose to go along with it. Is this the kind of leadership you've got in store for Richmond? Torturing people with your stupid power games? Justice isn't a game, Javi. It's about time you learn that. Joan, are you sure about this? We never agreed to killing all these people. It's really up to Javi, isn't it? All eyes are on you. Maybe this will help you make up your mind. Boys? <gasps> Come on, Javi. Who's it gonna be? Your friend? Or your brother's lieutenant? Oh, come on! This is fucking stupid! You can't be serious. God damn you, Joe. Do the right thing, Javi. How could you do this? Trip has to live. He's invaluable. Son of a bitch. Javi, what the fuck is wrong with you? You're not making David happy. But I respect you for sticking up for your own people. Shoot it. Wait! I said Trip should live! 
You did, but there's something else you need to understand. Betrayal. You can't do this! Fucking figures. I can do anything I want. You brought this on yourself. Do it. Joan. No! No! Oh my god. They really shot him. God damn it. Now, David, it's your turn. I can't believe this. This isn't how we do things. This is madness. Stop her, Clint. Is this the process you trusted? No. Think about this, Hobby. You know what's gonna happen here. You ready for that? We don't murder in Richmond. We exile. That's how we've always done things. How about you take David and the rest of your people and just get the hell out? Go far away from Richmond, and then whatever you do is up to you. I'm sure the herd outside would like that. She thinks she's sending us out there to die. She's counting on it. Everybody put your guns away. We're going to handle this peacefully. Ah. Don't listen to them, Javi. They're fucking butchers, all of them. Shoot that bitch. Take her out. She deserves it. If you don't do it, I fucking will. Go to hell, Joan. Oh, God! Javi, you've got to get over there before... 